Sheriff's deputies say Michael Ganey acted out his twisted fantasy here at this Tom Thumb store in West Pensacola Sunday night. Power trip, feeling like he's in control. I mean, I don't know. You know, he's a he's a big guy. These were teenagers. Deputies say Ganey approached a group of kids and identified himself as a sheriff's investigator. Ganey, wearing blue jean shorts and flip flops, pretended to use a police radio and mic hidden inside his collar. The teens told investigators Ganey did not have a badge. You know, we want people to trust us and have faith in us that we are who we say we are. So when someone goes on the opposite end of the spectrum and does you know, the opposite, then it kind of, we take it to heart. But deputies say pretending to be a cop wasn't enough. They say Ganey took the act one step further and grabbed several of the kids, searched their truck, and then told the teens he would collect urine samples to check for narcotics. Ganey's act didn't last long. Deputies tracked him to his house a few hours later and charged him with impersonating a police officer. Sheriff's deputies say Ganey could spend a lot of time behind bars. He was also charged with battery, car burglary, and drug possession. That's terrible when somebody does that and they're not even an officer. Lewis Hopkins is one of Ganey's neighbors. That makes you wonder if, 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 if I see a blue light behind me, or not, I ain't going to stop. In Pensacola, Pat Peterson, News 5.